Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to send an instant message in Skype for business. Um, there are three ways to send an instant message. The first one would be to find the contact you want to message. In this case, it's Jonathan. I can see by the green tick that he is available. Now, if I just hover over his image, I can see um, some options here. I want to send him an instant message, so I just click this button here. The other way is simply to right click on his name, send an IM, click that button, or I can simply just double click on his name. All of those options will bring open this um, instant message screen here. So what I could do, there's lots of different things I can do with this window. I can simply say hello. You can see the conversation will start showing up here. Um, Jonathan will now receive that message and hopefully will reply back just to say hi. The other things I can do is send an image to Jonathan. So there's several different ways I can do this. I could either drag and drop. So I've got an image here. I'm just going to drag it across and drop it into the window. That will show up in the conversation window. Or I could have copied this image and paste in here there's the next one or if i wanted to send him a picture of the screen itself if we're having a chat about work and there's something come up that i'd like to show him i could just use a print screen option on my computer and then simply paste in here and that will show up the screen that i'm working on at the moment so that's how to send an image. Now, if we are going to send, um, a ch say hello to Jonathan, and we might like to maybe add a smiley to that. So we can click this option here. We'll see all the different smileys appearing. We'll just select the one we want. We might want to change the text a little bit. So if we go more options here, we can change the font. So we could change the color to red. We could change the font type and we could change the size. So there's all different options there that we can choose. So we could, here's the send button here. This may be a very important message. We might want to mark that as high importance so that he sees that and responds to it as soon as possible. And we may even want to add a file to send to him. So we can click on the paperclip and obviously select a file from any point on our computer. And the send option here, you can either click that or whilst you're typing in the message, you can simply hit the return button on your laptop and that will send. So you can see the the, uh, the high importance here, so he knows that this message needs responding to as soon as possible. Um, and that's about it for Jonathan. Now, there are other things that we might decide we want to do. It might be that we want to add another person to this conversation. So I might want to involve, um, say, Will, so I could take his name and drag that across and add him in there. Now, as you can see, Will is also joined to the conversation with Jonathan, so we can have a three-way conversation. Um, I can add numerous people as I want to, depending on what we're talking about. There might be more people who need to be involved in the conversation we're having, so we can just drag and drop them across accordingly. So if we just close that window and I will show you how to start off a message involving more than one person. So if we want to say start a conversation, we can simply press the control key, highlight the people that we would like to chat with. So the two people there, Jonathan and Will are highlighted. We then right click and select send an IM. That will open up a new IM window with Jonathan and Will and we can have a conversation as previously shown. Another thing that we might decide we want to do is send a whole group of people an IM if we wanted a big group conversation. Um, now I don't actually have 
group, many groups of such set up under here, but you may do for different reasons. I have my favourites. So I'm going to right click on favourite and start an IM. And you will see five participants here. That's everybody in my favourite list that I would like to have a conversation with. And we can just see who they are there, make sure that's everybody who we want. And go ahead, as previously shown, on how to hold a conversation. So that's instant messaging.